When I was uh, 11 or 12 years old, I collected a jar of pond scum, and I had a look in a toy microscope that my parents bought for a birthday, and uh, I, was, I was caught to see the world revealed in a, in a complexity that one can't imagine. So the Nobel Prize Inspiration Initiative, you know, it really is important to MedImmune and AstraZeneca. We absolutely believe what it stands for, which is celebrating science. Much like uh, young athletes uh, aspire to be the next Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, young scientists have our own idols. I resolved, though I had uh, essentially no experience in this, um, it's great to be young and foolish at a certain point, I resolved to study this process in, in baker's yeast. To have those kind of people come here to inspire scientists to know what's possible from one individual scientist working with others is really powerful. I think it makes Nobel Prize seem accessible to a regular person. He is a role model for this young scientist. And if any of you have been immunized um, um, for hepatitis B, uh, you will have received a vesicle preparation from yeast into your veins. He's an interesting character, right? He's got some very strong views beyond his own research area about uh, publishing and how science works. He wants to go away from putting the stamp on a scientist by just using impact factor, and I think that was really important. Unfortunately, everyone focuses on this stupid impact factor, and it's phony for so many reasons. That is important for me as a young scientist because we are encouraged to publish in high impact journals. It's publisher parish, but there's high emphasis on high-tier journals. And he's challenging the traditions. He's saying maybe we should do science differently, maybe we should do peer review differently, ultimately to get better scientists. So he's a pure scientist and that's really inspiring. It's not true that you, that you can't have a career without publishing in those journals. There are plenty of people who do. And you can look historically it's at the, you know, other Nobel laureates who've done amazing work and never, never published in journals like that. We don't take the time to, to pause for a moment and, and celebrate great accomplishments. So I think this one of the things that this series is accomplishing did. I think it's important for universities to really inspire people who, like myself who um, want to make a difference and really show that you can make a difference. Just by hearing Dr. Sheckman talk might spark off an idea to do an experiment tomorrow that might be transformational. So, Dialogue is uh, critical in science, sharing ideas, inspiring one another. He presents the full package, right? He has the credibility in terms of research excellence, and he's concerned enough to make sure that future generations can really build on those strong foundations of a strong scientific method. Very exciting. I wanted to come to kind of get inspired for a future career that accomplishes maybe a tenth of what he was able to accomplish. Thank you for your attention.